This next technique that we're going to explore is something that was actually brought to my attention by my good friend and SMDA member, Kevin Lehman. Now, this is a technique that I've been aware of for a while, but after talking to Kevin, he really brought it to my attention and made me aware that Todd Zuckerman is doing this in a way that he calls the shank tip technique. And I watched Todd really demonstrate this in his Drumeo video, and he demonstrates it, I believe, in methods and mechanics as well. But Kevin really helped me find these demonstrations, and I really went and revisited it because I really want to strengthen my 16th note lead hand technique and be able to do it in a bunch of different ways. The palm of the hand is pushing forward and pushing the shoulder or the shank of the stick into the edge of the hi-hat, and then you pull back and the wrist comes up a bit and the tip of the stick plays the top of the hi-hat. So it's like a shank, tip, shank, tip, shank, tip, shank, tip, and I'm thinking of this as the wrist going forward and then the top of the wrist coming back. So it's almost like palm, wrist, palm, wrist, down, up. And it really helped me develop this when I started realizing that it's not so much an up and down motion as it is more of a forward and back motion. So let me demonstrate this now, playing it, and I'm gonna play it very slowly so that you can really see what the motion is. I think that if you can understand this in slow motion, then you're really gonna be able to apply it and have it feel more comfortable once you start bringing it up to tempo. So now I'm gonna bring this up to tempo and show you a little bit more about what this motion is. And you really wanna think about this as moving forward and back, forward, back, forward, back. And Todd talks about imagining a locomotive and a train and imagine what that looks like when that's going like this, right? And I'm thinking of those wheels on that train. And now when you pick up the stick and you think about it this way, right? You wanna really kind of think of that motion right when you're doing this so now i'm going to pick up the stick and we're going to try and think of that motion as i play this and for me it started to help when i started thinking about the stick in the crux of my hand so kind of like right here in this crease of the hand I'm feeling the stick there. So I'm feeling the stick in that crease, right? And then wrapping my hand, and then the stick is in line with my forearm. Just like it would be if this were a locomotive, right? So think about that, you know? It's like think about these things being in line with each other, and for me, that helped, as opposed to being more German grip and thinking about doing it like that, eh, you can see like things aren't really like lining up and now I'm exaggerating that German grip. But for me, it helped when I was thinking more, I guess this would be kind of American grip really, in between German and in between French and thinking of it this way and look at that stick and that forearm, they're all lined up together just like the gears and the wheels of a locomotive would be. With this technique, before we add bass drum and snare drum, it can be beneficial to try it with accents so you can really start to internalize what this motion is. And I'm thinking of the accents happening when the palm is pushing forward and then the E's and the A's are happening when I'm pulling the hand back. So the eighth notes and the accents are happening pushing forward and then the E's and the A's, the quiet notes, happen when we pull back.
Now I'm going to bring that up to speed. Now we're going to add our very simple bass drum and snare drum pattern to the shank tip 16th note method. As I've been saying, whenever I'm practicing any kind of 16th note pattern with the right hand, I like to eventually be able to do Funky Drummer. So right now we're going to do that. And since Funky Drummer doesn't have accents on the hi-hat, we're going to practice this right now without accents. So even though the original Funky Drummer doesn't have accents, we're going to practice it with accents and I'm going to demonstrate it right now with those accents added in. Now, I firmly believe that if you can learn how to play Funky Drummer against whichever method of playing right hand or lead hand 16th notes that you're working on, if you can play Funky Drummer to that, you're going to be able to play just about any other beat to this. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I'm coming out with new lessons. So I really appreciate y'all watching. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see y'all down the line.